Hello, this is Dr. Nima, and I'll go through a short introduction about Canvas and how can we use it. At the beginning, when you log in, most probably you'll see your courses and actually your dashboard. On your dashboard, you'll see your favorite courses, which most probably the ones that are active. But if you want to see all the courses that you have and change the one that you see on your dashboard, you have to go to Courses tab. By clicking on Courses tab, you'll first have this small menu, which also show you the favorite courses. But if you go to All Courses, click on it, then you'll get to all of your courses, and then you can highlight the one that you want to show on your dashboard. Here, I just put a star on this second one, and I'll put a star on the All Homework. And now, if I go back to my dashboard, I can see all of the courses that I highlighted. If I want to remove them, go back to courses, all courses, and just hide the ones that I don't want to work with on I, or maybe they are now not active, and then go back to dashboard. This is just an extra thing. Sometimes the student would not find their course. They might need to look here. They not they would not find them on their dashboard. So this is my test course, just to show you some things that you can do. When you click on your course, most probably you will land on two modules, which are here, this tab. And modules is just a way for you to set up your course and organize it. You don't really have to use it, but it's just more organized. We'll talk about it a little bit more and how can we use it, because so far I don't have any assignments. And you can change your home page by clicking on here, choose home page and you can do it as modules assignment list or anything else but we'll leave it for now as modules and this is my home page here so I'll talk first about how to use canvas as a grade book which is the easiest way and the simplest way to use it just as a grade book no quizzes uh, graded by themselves no question banks nothing just a simple grade book with assignment so now if I go to my grades you'll see that my gradebook is completely empty and I have just a student. And now I need to start adding some assignments here. So if I have a paper test and I want to add the grades here for my paper test, I can, I have to add an assignment and actually I have to add weights for them as well. So I'm going back here on my menu, instead of grades, let's go back to home if I want. And now I can go to assignments. Again, we're just here, we're trying just to use Canvas as a grade book. On assignments, to make weighted groups, so I have to start adding groups. So I have assignments, I'll add exams, and I will add labs, and that'll be it. Let's say I just have these three, and you can add more, and now I'll go here. Again, I'm in assignments. And I'll go here to the gear and I'll say assignment group weight. When I click on it, I have to check mark this. And now I can add, let's say, 20% for assignments, 50% for exams, and 30% for labs. For sure, again, it just depends on how your course is run. Now we added the weights. We have not added assignments yet. If again, if we go to the grade book here, now we'll see different groups of with different weights you can see these are just the totals for everything so let's go back to assignments here and now we can start adding assignments for each one so if you've done an exam for your students and you want to add this exam in your grade book and then you add the grade there you just add here on the click and name it so you can name it test week one and then you can add the due date if you want and you can add the points let's say it's out of a hundred and then you can save and publish because if you just save it the student will not see it and you will not see it in your gradebook you can always you have always to save and publish so they can see it if we want to go in depth we will click on more options but we don't want to save now I have week one let's say I have labs and labs week one as well i can do put a due date for it and another 100 for it and save a publish and here see this one was not published so i just have to click publish on it see now it's green it's green here and i'll add assignment let's say homework 
week one or chapter one. And again, it's out of 100. Or if you want to put it specific points for the specific amount of um, questions that are in the homework. And now we have these. And again, you can add more and more and more if you want to just collapse them. So to make them smaller. But well, they're still there. And you can move anything from anywhere. See, you just hold it here. And you can move it around. And now if I go to my grades, which is my grade book, now you will see that my student would have chapter one and it's for assignments and tests for the tests and lab for the lab. See if I put a grade here, just clicking, you can add the grade. See, so I click here and I add 58 and you'll see that the assignment now is 100. Now if I do the test, let's say they took 50, the exams now have 50. And the lab, let's say they have 80. Now the labs have great. And now this is my total. You can always move the total to the front. And it will just reload the page. And it will, because you will start adding a lot of assignments. And you will see that uh, the, the total will be all the way uh, to the side. So this is just the easiest way to use Canvas as a grade book without any extensions. Just simple, straightforward for you as gradebook, and then you can start building on top of it as we'll see in, in front videos. Again, the only things that I did were going to assignments and making a group for each assignment so I can weight them. And then once I made the group and I can add a grade, uh, I weighted the assignments and I add the weights for them depending on my syllabus. And once I did that, I start adding uh, things for it. Now, if I want to add this to my module, so if I click on home, you'll see that they are not added to my module. See, week one is empty, week two is empty. Again, this is just a way to organize it. That doesn't mean that the student would not see it. The student will still, will still be able to see it by clicking on assignment. But if you want to organize it, you can add here, click here on week one, and you'll add assignment this. And you can control, click control, so you can select all of them. And you can add them. And now week one, have all of these assignments just for the student to see. If I want to unpublish all week one, I can unpublish it. And it will over uh, work all the publish that I did here. And if I want to do more uh, editing on my week one, I can actually lock it on specific date for all the module and this is what the modules are for mainly is just to organize your work and that will be it for now